Welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Schumacher BTF250. This is a digital battery tester. This is to be used in addition to and above and beyond or even, even in replacement of just a basic voltmeter for testing automotive batteries. It's easily deceptive that a battery can read 12.6 volts, which is what a fully charged battery can read, but might not actually have the full discharge amperage that the battery is supposed to put out. And so this tool can actually test for that and tell you what the cold cranking amps in the battery currently is. And so on this here, one of the nice things is there's no batteries on it, and it'll give me a nice digital readout of what the battery is. Our next step with this Schumacher battery tester is going to be either pulling the battery out of the vehicle, which I've done here, or actually doing this in the vehicle and disconnecting the other electronics connected to it. Uh, in some of your more modern vehicles, battery management circuits will prevent this tool from actually working correctly. And so you may have to disconnect the leads that are actually in your car, which of course could mean you have to reset your clock and your radio stations uh, in the process, but it's better to know if the battery is good or bad, and this will give us a good indi uh, indication of the life of our battery. And so I've got this out of the car, and so I'm going to first start by putting the red clamp on the positive terminal. It's clearly marked on the battery. I'm going to put the negative clamp on the negative terminal in that order. With the tool connected to the battery, we can see we got our screen lights up now automatically. And we're going to have a few options here, but let's take a quick look at the top of our battery. We're going to take a couple notes, 760 cold cranking amps. That's also an AGM chemistry, or absorbent glass mat. So this is not a standard flooded lead acid battery. We look over here, this is showing the volts on the battery is about 12.5, 12.6. It's kind of floating here. We'd like to see it to be about 13 and some change uh, for a fully charged battery. So we're a little bit below where we'd like to be. We're going to click the button here for enter test. In this case here, this is a sealed battery. This is not uh, the starting battery or another one. There's another option, SLI, for a lead acid battery. SAE, I've got a change of 760. You can mark it up and down to dial it in. This says I need a charge. It's low on charge. I hit enter again. We're not going to charge it. And it's telling me the current draw on it is 425 cold cranking amps. Is all this battery is good for out of 760. And so that's really no good. And it thinks we probably have a bad cell. We need to recharge. And so this is a good way or a good time to be able to go out and replace the battery. I know there's a problem. So now it's off to the parts store for me to get a new battery. All right, we're back from the auto parts store and got a new battery. First thing here, we're going to note the date of manufacture, January 2018. That's the month this is being filmed, so this is a relatively recent battery, so that's good. If we look on top, I got another AGM battery, rated for 760 cold cranking amps. And so this one's actually made in Germany and is the Duralast Platinum from the big orange auto parts store. I like buying batteries from National Change in the event of a warranty problem. You can simply just take it back to one of their locations anywhere. And so we'll notice on top of the battery here, we've got some terminal protections, one over the positive, and then this one here over the negative. We'll peel those off. And now I'm going to attach my meter just to make sure this battery is okay. I'm going to put one on the positive and my black clamp on the negative. 12.55 volts, it's the sealed battery, SAE, cold cranking amps, and let's run the test. SAE, and that's showing 977, that's actually well in excess of the cold cranking amps. The cranking amps above freezing, this is listed at 950, so you can see we're actually above that number as well. So it might need a slight recharge, we'd like to see the voltage right above 13. And so we've got a good battery to put into our car. Our alternator will take care of the rest of the charge, and we should be good to go. And so that is a look at the Schumacher BTF250 battery meter. Hope you found this video useful, and have a great day. Bye.